Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to share with you a tier list of every single map in Torchlight Infinite that I was working on for a while now. And the way I decided to sort all of these maps is by their size. So I did put them in one of the three categories, so either big, medium or small. And the reason why I decided to uh, sort them this way is because uh, as of right now, pretty much the only way to customize your strategy uh, in Touch at Infinite is to uh, change your deck. So you just choose uh, 10 different cards and then uh, you get five random every cycle and you farm uh, these maps. But what if sometimes you don't get the maps, that, uh, the cards that you want? Because again, you choose 10 in here, but maybe there are some five very specific you want. So at that point, you actually would prefer to just go through five maps as fast as possible. So you'll get a new cycle and maybe next time you're going to get a better set of cards. So if uh, that happens, you would just prefer to go through uh, small maps. So you can just quickly kill a map boss and then continue to the next map. And on the opposite side, sometimes you might get a very good cards. But let's say you do uh, four maps. So you are at the last map of the cycle and you are left with something like this, just 49% drops and 49% drops and rarity. So you might just want to go for this map. But then you go into this map and then you realize, oh, it's a very small map. So usually small maps don't have that many monsters in them. So you're not going to get that many benefit from the inheritance from the previous maps. But maybe this map actually was a very big one. So even though it only has drops, it doesn't have rarity, you actually would prefer to go for a map like that. So uh, that was basically the reason why I decided to make this tier list. So now let me actually show it to you. And I was thinking about maybe doing a document, but at the end I decided to just uh, uh, do it like this. So I basically made uh, screenshots of every single zone and then I put uh, the sizes in here because I think it is easier to just navigate. You don't have to remember all of the names. Let's say I would just tell you City of Ascension is the best one and then you would have to read for every single map where is City of Ascension or oh, it's not even this zone. You would have to move to a different zone. So I think it, this is the easier way. So what I want to do now is I want to tell you in each zones, which maps are actually my favorite in terms of the uh, small maps and big maps. Because obviously medium are in between. Uh, sometimes when you just want to go through maps fast and maybe they also have some decent cards on them, then you would choose medium instead of small. And on the opposite, sometimes uh, you might want to go for the big uh, maps, but they don't have any good cards, then you would go for the medium one. So they are kind of in between. So let's go through them one by one. So first one is the uh, Voidlands. So in Voidlands, there is actually, in my opinion, the best uh, small map, which is City of Asc Ascension. And actually, I want to uh, show it to you. So let's go to the Voidlands. So it is uh, this map. I'm not going to even roll it. So this map has pretty much only one big room. And then it just has a map boss. So I'm going to summon my minions. And let's go to the end of the map. And here already is a boss. And this map is so small that you actually reach boss before it even spawns, spawned. So you, have, you uh, saw that I actually had to wait for him. So this map has only basically this room and two small side rooms. So uh, this small room and on the other side is the same small room. So it is a very good uh, map if you just want to go for maps as fast as possible, just kill the map bosses and just leave. Also, if you have any uh, any cards that give additional monsters, let's say seven additional rare monsters, seven additional magic monsters, uh, they still have to show up somewhere in the map. And if this map has only this basically this one big room and two small ones, I guess, all of them have to be here. So if you have, let's say, two or three cards with additional rare monsters, this uh, room is basically like stacked with monsters. There's so many of them, so it's very good in terms of uh, efficiency. So I really like this map. Uh, and in terms of the big maps, uh, to be honest, in this zone, 
actually all of the big ones in my opinion are very similar but if i had to choose uh, the best one it probably would be city of eternal fire which is this one but again all of them are kind of similar now moving on to the next one which is thunder waste uh, in this map uh, the best in terms of big ones is dying the uh, desert which is in here and out of smaller ones is obscured plaza which is this one and this one is actually also a pretty decent one because you can go to the left if you want to kill the map boss super fast but if you want to clear a little bit of a map you can go to the right and there's one big room basically and you can kill some additional monsters but in terms of big ones there's also nothing too crazy i think this is just a little bit bigger uh, better than the other ones now the next one is uh, Steelforge. So in Steelforge there is only one small map and to be honest this one is not even that small. I actually was considering naming it medium but it is a little bit smaller than the other ones so um, it's pretty much one that you have to go for if you want the smallest map. And the biggest one in my opinion is Gallery of the Moon which is in here. And again, I don't think this one is uh, that much crazier than any of the other one, at least in this zone. Next one is the uh, Boiling Lava. In Boiling Lava, there is Savage Grasslands, and Savage Grasslands is a very big map. Actually, I very like uh, this map. And small one is Plaza of Everest. And I actually think Plaza of Everest is the exactly the same layout as the uh, Obscure Plaza in the uh, Thunder Waste. So in this zone and this zone they are pretty much the same maps. Uh, so yeah, actually let me show you the Savage Grasslands because I think this is the best big map. So let me show it to you. A lot of the other big maps have a lot of uh, panels a lot of uh, rooms so you just have to uh, stop from time to time if you want to go through the doors or um, you have to go back because uh, there is like a one long line and then you have to go back and go to the left and then go to the right and this map is just straight up big you just go around everywhere then you go here to the left and there is basically similar area in here so as you can see this one is pretty big zone i'm not even gonna go through all of it because it's just so massive and here is the boss and that's it so as you can see there is basically two massive uh, rooms okay so going back to the images and the last zone which is glacier abyss and in this zone uh, Alice of Pilgrims, in my opinion, is the biggest one, and the smallest one is Dragon Rest Plateau, which kinda is similarly to the uh, Wisdom Steelforge. There is only one small map in here. Here there is only two small maps, and to be honest, both of them are similar, and both of them are not super small, but again, there's nothing else to choose from. So yeah. That's basically it. This list definitely helps me, especially when I am going for small maps, when I just uh, want to run through the maps as fast as possible. In terms of the uh, big maps, it's not like super helpful. Most of the time you're gonna go for the better cards anyway, if you want to have just the best maps in terms of uh, amount of monsters and loot, but it definitely helps when you just want to go for the small maps just to finish the cycle and go to the next one so that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching and see you next time